conditional inverse of A. So the theorem, let A be an N by N matrix, okay, be a non-singular, let B a, be a non-singular matrix such that B A equals to H, where H is in Hermit form. Then B is a conditional inverse of A. Okay, so what is B? Okay, B can be written as product of elementary matrices. So any from linear algebra one, each correspond to every ERO involved in reducing A to H. Okay, so what is Hermit form? N, min, N by N matrix H is defined to be uh, in Hermit form if and only if. First, H is up, upper triangular. Second, only zero and ones are on the diagonal. Okay, so, yeah. okay, so example, this is an upper triangular matrix. Okay. And only zero and one on the diagonal, zero or one. Okay. Okay, if the row has zero, okay, diagonal, ni, kalau let's say we have zero here, zero and zero. If a row has zero on the diagonal, then every element in that row, zero. Okay, but if the diagonal the one, uh, the element that in the same column must be zero. So they very similar to row echelon, ataupun uh, they very similar to reduced row echelon form. Okay, so this is an uh, example of Hermit matrix. Gula, sorry, upper triangular matrix. Element in the diagonal must be only zero and one. Okay, so four zero element. Ni, ni, the first, third and second, uh, first, third and fourth row ni. So more, all element in that row must be zero. And for uh, element one, other elements must be zero. So let's say we have the first example. We need to reduce this matrix and hermit matrix. So this is hermit matrix. So B adalah E3, E2, E1. So B is the conditional inverse of A, so AC. Okay, next example. Okay, C inverse of A. Okay, so this example M is less than N. So first, can add one more row. Lah. So from this matrix, use some permit form. Okay, as long as they satisfy hermit form, eh? as long as they satisfy hermit form, and hermit is not unique, C is not unique. Okay, so this is hermit form, the two elementary matrices. The first ERO akan produce E1, the second ERO akan produce E2. So B is E2 darab E1. Since A is 2 by 3, AC will be 3 by 2. Okay, we truncate the other element. So kita hanya perlu 3 rows, 2 columns. So that is. We see. Okay, the conditional inverse of A. Okay, next. So we need to add one more column, 0, 0, 0. Okay, and then we reduce until Hermit form. Okay, Hermit. Okay, the other uh, upper triangular and so on. So this is Hermit form. So since we have three uh, elementary matrices, so kita kan as we have three ERO, three elementary matrices. Kita okay, start dengan E1, E1, E2, E3. Okay, E1, E2, E3. And B, the E3, E2, E1. So since A is 3 by 2, AC 2 by 2 by 3. This is the conditional inverse of A.